Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Summer and I'm currently on a financial journey to pay off my debt while saving money at the same time. Here on my channel, I am documenting my journey to financial freedom and I do film content on budgeting, saving money, paying off debt, and anything money related. If that is something that you are interested in, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and definitely consider hitting that subscribe button to join me on my financial journey. I would love to have you become a part of the family. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and joining me for another video. I truly appreciate your support. So in today's video, we are going to be stuffing a few of my sinking funds and savings challenges. It is going to be a very small cash stuffing today. We are going to be stuffing, I believe, $136. So let's go ahead and count our money to make sure that is what we are stuffing. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 105, 110, 115, 120, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, and 136. So we are going to be stuffing a hundred and thirty-six dollars. We are going to be stuffing a few of my savings challenges and a couple of sinking funds. So the first thing um, that we are going to be stuffing is my guilt-free envelope that goes in my cash, wall cash wallet. I'm not going to stuff that today. I'm going to go ahead and add that when I do my February cash stuffing for my wallet, but let's just go ahead and take out $25 now and put that aside for our February um, cash stuffing. So 20, 25. So I will go ahead and put that to the side. The next sinking fund we are going to be stuffing, it's a new sinking fund. In fact, I have not even made the envelope. This is just going to be a sinking fund for planner supplies, budget supplies, or any supplies that I want to use to make my YouTube videos. And we're going to be stuffing that with $33. So let's just give it a 20, a 10, and three ones. And I'm going to put that to the side as well because I will need to make that envelope and add it there. It's a new sinking fund. Okay, the next sinking fund that we are going to be stuffing is my car sinking fund. This is the first time we are going to be stuffing this sinking fund for 2023, and we are going to be stuffing it with $25. I'm not going to fill out the tracker right now just to save time, but I will fill that out off of camera. So we're going to be adding $25. This sinking fund... If you missed um, me setting up my sinking fund, it does not have a target goal. It is something that I will be continuing to save for um, throughout the year, as well as when car expenses come up, I will be taking money out of this envelope. The next sinking fund that we are going to be stuffing is my home improvement sinking fund. We are going to be stuffing that with $25 as well. So we'll just give it two tens and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. $25. It says home improvement. I'm currently saving for kitchen cabinets. That might change, guys. Um, if you missed my last video, I did have a leak in my kitchen underneath my sink. The leak ended up being a lot bigger than what I thought. It did a lot more damage than I thought. Um, I guess through this whole project, I'm learning that a little bit of water can do a lot of damage. So underneath my sink, there was a leak 
and the leak got under my hardwood floors. And for the first few days, water was coming up when I would step on my hardwood floors. Um, after a few days, it did dry. However, I noticed some damage um, with my floor. So I did call um, in an insurance claim and they had someone come out um, to dry out the floors and to check for water damage and mold. And that ended up turning into my entire kitchen and half of my living room floor is getting um, ripped out as well as my bottom kitchen cabinets had to be ripped out as well. So I currently don't have a kitchen and I'm being told that um, my whole kitchen is going to be need to be redone. Um, so if that is the case, we are going to take the money that we were saving for kitchen cabinets and just um, switch that over to kitchen appliances because I did want to update those. So for now, we're just gonna add the $25. Um, I have been stuffing this envelope. It did have a goal amount of $4,000. I did have some money in it, but I've had to take out some money. I am definitely learning a lot about home ownership and the fees that come with it. I had the leak in my kitchen. Um, I had something in my bathroom that needed um, to be repaired in my son's bathroom, the shower. Luckily, that was only $105, but that was definitely an unexpected expense. So this envelope, I am so thankful for um, because I have been taking money out of it and adding money. So that is why it is so important to have sinking funds or emergency funds. So it says that this envelope should have $500 and we are adding $25. So let's just see if that will equal $525 because I am trying to utilize my tracker, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's go ahead and count it. I will get out my calculator just to um, help me. Let's go ahead and count the money. One hundred fifty, one hundred one fifty, twenty forty sixty eighty a hundred twenty forty sixty eighty a hundred two hundred ten twenty thirty forty fifty sixty five seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen. So this envelope does have $525, so our tracker is correct. I will go ahead and update the tracker off of camera to um, save time. And for my um, insurance claim, I do have a deductible that I'm going to have to pay. I'm not sure how much my deductible is, but I will need to pay that. The next envelope that we are going to be stuffing is we are going to be stuffing my saving challenges. I'm not participating in a lot of savings challenges this year just because I just want to focus on um, some other goals. So I am really only doing, I believe, four savings challenges. I'm doing um, the coin challenge where I'm saving my coins. I'm doing the 52-week money savings challenge. I'm doing a $5 challenge. And then if I'm able to complete those challenges, I will do the 100 envelope challenge. Right now I have not even started the 100 envelope challenge. And I'm sorry about that. My camera battery did die. I am not sure if I am going to be able to get to the 100 envelope challenge. So for, let's see what we're left with. We are left with 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28 dollars. So let's just go ahead and take the five dollars and add to our five dollar savings challenge. So this is our five dollar savings challenge. And I'm just going to go ahead and add these three fives to it. Um, today is the 29th. 
Um, it says we're starting with $30. We're adding three fives. So that's $15. So $15 plus the $30 is $45. So we'll have $45 in our savings, $5 savings challenge. If you can see here, let me zoom in. I did have to dip into my $5 savings challenge. I took out four fives. This month has been very challenging. Um, the last time I was paid was on December 17th. So it's been about six weeks. Um, so it has been a little challenging with all the unexpected expenses coming up, but that is okay. I am so thankful that I do have money at home. Um, saved up um, in sinking funds and savings challenges. I do have a emergency fund that I'm thankful that I have not had to touch. Um, so that's the good thing about having savings challenges is you do want to save money, but when things come up, don't be afraid to take money out of your challenges to prevent you from going further into debt. So that is what I did. I just took, um, $20 out and that is okay. The next savings challenge that we are going to stuff is my 52 week savings challenge. And we are left with $13 and that is perfect. We have not um, checked off our week 13 for this challenge. I do the random week challenge. I get paid once a month and I do not set aside money um, always in my budget for my savings challenges. So when I do get a little bit of extra money, I will go ahead and use that money to stuff um, savings challenges and sinking funds. And because of that, I just do the 52 week random savings challenge. I will pick out my numbers. That way it best fits my budget at that time. So we are gonna add $13 to our envelope and then at the end of this challenge we would have saved one thousand three hundred and seventy eight dollars so I'm just going to go ahead and put that in this envelope so that is a look at the sinking funds that I was able to stuff for the month of January, as well as the savings challenges that I was able to stuff for the month of January. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed this very short video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and definitely consider hitting that subscribe button to join me on my financial journey. I would love to have you. But before you go, let me know, how are you doing with your 2023 savings challenges and sinking funds. Have you been able to stuff your sinking funds um, this year or your savings challenges? I would love to know how you guys are doing um, with your sinking funds and saving challenges. Well, I really hope that you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for coming back and watching this video or joining me for this video. It, it, if it is your first time, I truly appreciate your support. Well, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It definitely helps out my channel and I truly appreciate your support.